Hey, welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Angelo from the T-Squad family. We are T-Squad RVing. Hey, before we begin, if you have not subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. Hey, go a step further. Hit that bell and you will get notified for videos like this. We also do RV stuff and we do travel on campgrounds and stuff like that. So check us out. Check all the other videos out if you have not. So you know, today my wife said, wow, it's about time you ordered yourself a camera. So we just ordered ourselves a camera through Amazon and I will link that in the description below. Anything you click on our link, we do get a a sort of a commission on it and it does help this channel out because we are Amazon affiliate. So that being said, we ordered ourselves the Do Honest RV backup camera. So two reasons why we like a backup camera. One of them is so I can see who's behind me when I'm backing up, when I don't see Sandy. Let's say she's on the left because she usually backs me up. And if I don't see her, I'll stop. Well, if I see that she's all the way back there and she's telling me where to go, and I'm backing up slow, I don't have to stop every time to know that she's just out of distance of my mirror, but she's well beyond the RV. So then I can account for everybody like around my RV or if I'm hitting a curb and stuff like that. Also why I like this camera is I get to see who is behind me when I'm driving and how close they are. Not that it matters, it's just another distraction, yes I know, but I'd like to know who is behind me. Also when we're driving, we can go hours without anybody behind us, like on a road or something. And we do carry bikes, so we wanna know if our bikes are good. We purchased this from Amazon. It was a less expensive than the Furion. Now let me tell you about the Furion. We purchased the Furion in our old RV and we end up trading it in for her. Where's the Furion camera? Well, we actually left it in the RV. We did not wanna spend that kind of money being a, if you're on a budget like I am, you know, we've been doing a lot of things to our RV. If you tell all the other all videos that we've released, we've been doing a lot of work to our RV and, and stuff for our RV. So we decided to go with a less expensive version of the Furion. Now your RV may come Furion equipped. That means it has that little Furion, it says blah, 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 wire and all this. Yes, but you can use any camera as long as you have the right adapter. All right, so this camera is a Do Honest wireless rear view camera kit. Now, you know, I might even get another one to put on my side door. So let's go ahead and open it. Now, I did open this. I will be honest, I did open this and it, it is missing the, the plastic and stuff like that. This was all wrapped and these antennas were off. So I, I just wanted to put it back here real quick. So here is your camera. We'll put those, put that right there. I'm sorry, here is your TV screen. And then under here, we have all your goodies. All right, so in this bag right here, we have all kinds of stuff. Here is what I was talking about, that adapter. This would go into your Furion part. And then this right here would go into your uh, camera, which is right here. Like this. Just like that. And you have this adapter, which has the power button on and off, that's con that gets connected to your monitor. So now that we have all that connected, how are we gonna make sure that this works? Well, we know if we plug in the monitor to the cigarette lighter, it works. So these two wires right here, yes, there are two here. I'll separate them real quick. There's two here. Come with an opening wire here and here. So these two wires, you have a positive and a negative. So what we're going to do is connect the positives together. We're going to just pinch it and turn it. There we go. And then the negatives together. So I'm gonna take this out of camera and I'm gonna do it up close to my eyes. All right, so that's it. So now that these are connected together, the positive and the negative together. What you wanna do is take this little adapter right here that they give you, okay, and I'm gonna to get to this real quick, and you're gonna see right on the other side has a positive and a negative. So you're gonna take the positive, which is red, and you're gonna put it in here like this, then tighten it so the wires do not fall out. What, are, what is this for? This is to make sure the camera and, there we go, and the monitor work together. 
This is gonna allow power to both monitor, which is one end, and then the other end, which is the camera. So what you do is you take your battery, I'm sorry, you take your lighter adapter, which is gonna be allowing the power, and you connect it on this end right here, like that. Then you take one end of this, connect it in your camera, like that. Take the other end, connect it in your monitor. So basically it's going from here, the power, to here and distributing it both ways to the camera and to the monitor. So now that we're in the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our cigarette lighter adapter to your cigarette lighter, which should come with, your truck should come with a cigarette lighter adapter. So we're gonna plug that in. All right, so I do see a red, so this section right here, once you plug it in, that turns red. That's on and off. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in, flip it on. We're gonna go ahead and see the camera is working now. And here is, am I upside down? I am. Here is the camera facing me. Now I do wanna note that if you do not have your antennas on, which I have, two here and one here. If you do not have these on, this will not work. So now that I know the camera does work, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect it from that temporary wires that we connected, and we're gonna go ahead and keep the monitor plugged in to the truck, and we're gonna go ahead and connect this onto the Furion connection back in the RV. Once you disconnect the temporary wire, uh, your monitor will not, your monitor will work, but your camera will not. Now we know that the monitor works and the camera works. Now it's safe enough to say a little wire that we hear that we were talking about earlier, and most likely it's going to get connected onto this right here. And this other end, this fee, this male will get connected to the Furion female back in the RV. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Now remember this piece right here we were talking about? This is going to be replacing that panel back there. This is your Furion box. And it does say customized designs for rear doorway cameras, okay? There's four screws, one, two, three, four. Take those out, grab the flange right here, and you'll see that's it right there. Place it on top of your roof, and you'll notice this little wire here. This is your pre-wired for your power. Now remember, your power is not gonna work unless your lights are on, which is great feature because you do not want to kill your battery just because of this camera. This end right here is the other end of the camera. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to, just there we go. And now, once I turn the lights on, this camera will work. So this cover right here kind of looks like this. If you look at both of them, it kind of looks the same. It's got the flange right there. Both of them have the flange. So you know that this is the right one to use. You do, these holes match. So we're gonna go ahead and put a screw there, there, and there. So before we do that, so you, what we're gonna do is we are going to remove these screws, both sides of the camera. We're gonna attach this bracket right through here and here onto this. There's one. Let's remove the other side. There's the second. Now that this is removed, we can attach this on to that bracket I was telling you about. And what that's gonna do is, that's gonna allow you to put screws in there like that. This way you can attach this to the Furion. It's actually going to look like this, just like that. So let's go ahead and do that. In that little bag, they do give you some, some nuts and bolts in there, so you could probably use those. Uh, so this flange will go on top, and then your camera, this will get attached with these screws right here to this, and I would tighten this before I do anything. We are going to go ahead and tighten this. I'm using a 930 seconds with a Phillips screwdriver. I did end up getting a wrench, or um, a pair of pliers, and holding on to this end while I was screwing into that end with a Phillips. So this is all set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not gonna attach the uh, camera yet. I'm gonna attach this onto the Furion adapter. Okay, so what I did was I just ended up putting four screws. I used the drill. You can't even shake this thing. It is in there. Remember, <laughs> 
I just made that mistake. I forgot to feed this wire through it. So now that I fed it through, I'll go ahead and uh, get this camera connected. And the way you do that is the same way we took it off. So I'll go ahead and put it, I'll go ahead and put it something like that. And this way you can adjust where you want it. Now I'm not sure what I want to do with the wires. I may even, I just realized that I'm going to shove all these, this leftover wire inside this box right here. Oh, I love running out of battery. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drill and that screw right there. I'm going to place it right there in that hole because it should match. And I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. And that's good. I'm going to do the same to all three. That's two. That's three. There we go. And one more right there and I'll do it. Okay, so all four screws are in. Now this thing is solid. It is in there. Now remember, I taped the wire going in here. All the wires are in there. And now your camera is just dangling. Making sure that your antenna is completely tightened because that will loosen away like my camera just did. All right, and what we'll do now is we'll take the camera and we'll mount it just like that, just like it was when we, you got two screws, one, two on this end, and two on that end. I chose the one in the middle, and then I'm gonna choose the other one right up on top. All right guys, what I did was I just used what they had. I ended up using the three on this end and the three on that end so let's go ahead and go in the rv remember you have to turn your lights on so if if your lights aren't on and this is not working that's the reason so we're going to go ahead and connect the truck to the rv turn the lights on make sure those lights are working connect the monitor into the power and this should work so i like to keep all this stuff i like to keep it just in case i do remove my camera and uh and put this uh put this back right where that was in case i upgrade my rv i take my camera with me uh, so i'm definitely going to keep this so anything that we use in this video uh it is going to be in the link in the description below and just remember that um, we are amazon affiliates so anything that you purchase we do make a commission on and it does support this channel okay my lights are on to the rv and i can see that because my lights are on and here is the view of the um camera and like I said, I'd like to see my bumper a little bit, so I'm gonna lower it. I think I will go ahead and uh, leave it like that. There's my ladder, there's my Furion cover, there's my pair of pliers, and uh, I think we're good. I'll just put it in there. I don't like to stick anything here. I mean, who knows how it'll hold, but that is pretty nice as well. I may use that sticky thing, uh, that sticky uh, pad to use for that. Well, there you have it, everybody. The Jew Honest RV camera. Now, I gotta tell you, like I said, we were gonna go with the Furion, and we decided not to. We decided to go with the less expensive uh, camera this time around so check that out in the link in the description below But uh, please leave a comment if you have any comments and let me know how you would have done it different But I hope this video was helpful to you guys and uh, this is why we do this uh, Because I know that I search YouTube for certain things like this and I find them and they're very helpful So I hope this whole, this video was helpful to you and please subscribe if you have not in the meantime We'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy everybody